Good afternoon. I call this business meeting to order. Today, the committee will consider two bills, S-1898, Navajo Gallup Water Supply Project Amendments Act of 2023, and S-2088, Wounded Knee Massacre Memorial and Sacred Site Act. S-1898 was introduced by Senators Lujan and Heinrich. The bill amends the Navajo San Juan River Valley Rights Settlement to provide additional time and resources to complete the Navajo Gallup Water Supply Project. Once completed, the project will provide desperately needed and reliable water to meet the current and future needs of more than 40 Navajo Nation chapters across two states and several other communities. This co committee takes our trust responsibility to secure tribal water rights seriously. Last Congress, we reported out three water settlement bills that became law. And so far this Congress, we have cleared four and uh, today would make five. The next bill to consider is S-2088 and this bill places 40 acres of the Wounded Knee Massacre site currently owned in fee by the Oglala Sioux Tribe and the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe into restricted fee status so that this hallowed ground may be maintained as a sacred memorial site. Uh, are there any senators wishing to make an opening statement? Senator Lujan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and to our vice chair for holding today's business meeting to consider my bill 1898. My bill amends the Navajo Nation existing water rights settlement in the San Juan River Basin to ensure communities in New Mexico and Arizona get clean running water. Absent an extension and additional resources from Congress, all work on the pipeline to deliver this water will have to halt by the end of 2024. Congress needs to act to extend this project and deliver on commitments made to the Navajo Nation over a decade ago. The Navajo Gallup Water Supply Project was authorized in 2009 as part of the Navajo San Juan River Water Rights Settlement Act to provide a sustainable water solution to the tribe and nearby communities. On the Navajo Nation, approximately 15,500 people, about 23% of tribal households, live without running water, including nearly 6,000 in New Mexico. It is part of our federal trust responsibility to provide a permanent homeland for tribes, which requires water. In the aftermath of the U.S. Supreme Court's decision in Arizona versus Navajo Nation, it is critical that Congress reaffirm its commitment to delivering water where it's promised to do so. The Navajo Gallup Water Supply Project will deliver desperately needed piped water to over 40 chapters across New Mexico and Arizona, as well as portions of Hickory, Apache, and the city of Gallup. Once completed, the project will help to close the acute water access gap on the Navajo Nation, providing for the permanent homeland that Congress promised when it signed its 1868 treaty with the Navajo Nation. My legislation will ensure the federal government can complete this project. It will authorize additional resources and an extension to the project deadline to account for planning, construction, and supply chain delays. The bill will also take facility land into trust, authorizing funding for promised operations and maintenance costs, and authorize other activities to provide for the project's long-term sustainability. I urge my colleagues to support my bill to finish the Navajo Gallup Water Supply Project and uphold the federal government's responsibility to bring water to the Navajo Nation. Mr. Chairman, I've also filed an amendment to my bill, and I thank you for the appropriate opportunity to discuss this at a later time, and I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record several letters of support for the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Without objection, um, uh, the, those um, uh, documents will be made part of the record. We now turn to S-1898. Senator Lujan timely filed an amendment in the nature of a substitute number KAT-23A02. Um, Senator Lujan, um, any further discussion on the amendment? M Mr. Chairman, on the amendment, um, what this will allow is to uh, treat project facilities to store and convey non-project water to an IHS pipeline through New Mexico, Arizona, and Utah that is needed for successful implementation of the Navajo-Utah Water Rights Settlement Act in 2020. It also clarifies the transfer of ownership of land underlying certain San Juan Generating Station facility and adjusts deadlines for authorization of appropriations for conjunctive use of wells to reflect extended deadlines for appropriations. 
This is needed in order to work more thoroughly with the Bureau of Reclamation so that we can work in conjunction with our brothers and sisters in Utah, especially to make sure that the 2,000 acre feet of water from New Mexico is able to be utilized through an IHS um, uh, uh, investment so that that water um, uh, in Utah is, um, is drinkable, is usable. And so uh, it's a simple agreement. It's not going to cost additional funds. Congress has already acted in this space, and I hope that we can uh, earn everyone's support. Thank you, Senator Lujan. Senator Rounds, we're going to um, we're going to uh, process this bill and then turn to you for a description of, of the next measure. Um, is there any further discussion? If not, without objection, the committee will vote by voice on the adoption of KAT 23A02. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it and the amendment is adopted. If there is no further debate, then without objection, the committee will vote by voice on S1898 as amended. Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it, and S1898 is ordered reported favorably with an amendment in the nature of a substitute. Now we turn to S2088. Is there discussion? Senator Rounds. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and, uh, and Vice Chairman for holding this business meeting today. I would like to provide some very brief remarks on the Wounded Knee Massacre Memorial and Sacred Site Act, S2088. As you can recall, this legislation would place 40 acres of tribally purchased land at the Wounded Knee Massacre site into restricted fee status to be held by the Oglala Sioux Tribe and the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribe. With the Wounded Knee Massacre taking place on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation and the majority of the deceased tribal members being from the Minikanju Band, both the Oglala Sioux and Cheyenne River Sioux Tribes hold a very deep connection to this event and the site where it occurred. As you all may know, the Wounded Knee Massacre not only represents a low point in U.S.-Lakota relations, but it also serves as one of the darkest moments in our nation's history. To date, the Wounded Knee Massacre grounds remain a symbolic site, with tribal members regularly visiting the area to honor the deceased. In September of 2022, both tribes purchased the 40 acres from a private owner in an effort to preserve the land. Shortly after the purchase, both tribes signed a covenant holding that the property shall be held and maintained as a memorial and sacred site without any development. This legislation, which places the 40 acres into restricted fee status, will help preserve the site for future tribal generations. This will allow the tribes to own the land outright while also keeping protections in place, such as a restriction on alienation and taxation from any state or local government. Moving forward, it is my hope we can come together to acknowledge the history of the Wounded Knee Massacre and work to mend our history through reconciliation and mutual respect. This is an important step in honoring the deceased and protecting the ground for future tribal generations. I want to thank both the chairman and vice chairman for considering this legislation today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Senator Rounds, and thanks for your leadership on this issue. Uh, if there is no further discussion without objection, the committee will vote in support or to report uh, S-2088. Those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, S-2088 passes and is ordered reported favorably without amendment. I want to thank the members for getting the business of our committee completed expeditiously today. And I ask unanimous consent that staff be allowed to make technical and conforming changes, there being no objections or further business before the committee. This hearing is adjourned. This meeting is adjourned.